So let's bring in our correspondent, Joshua Okata, who went around the town to feel the pulse of the people. Thank you for joining us again. Earlier you were here, and we're talking about how peaceful the conduct of the election yesterday was. But do you have any story different from what we had yesterday or earlier? Yeah, yesterday was indeed, like I said earlier, it was very peaceful. The conduct of the election went smoothly. And um, we saw the synergy between the, the residents of uh, uh, Wawa community somewhere along the Bado Expressway. And that's that Ondaogun State. That's Ondaogun State. And the INEC official. It was very smooth. But shortly after I finished my first uh, conversation with you and went to some other locations to you know, cover up what is happening there, it was the direct opposite. Oh, yes. Because even some of my colleagues who visited that location yesterday reported that, in fact, there was no election. So I said, okay, let me go see for myself. And mm. upon arrival, to follow, real, up on that, to that follow up on that story. Yeah, to mm. follow up on that story. You know, upon my arrival, I realized that I saw, you know, some group of uh, military personnel who were stationed at some point, you know, perhaps not even knowing what was going on. Mm. And when I moved, you know, a little further with my team, I realized that I saw some group of police officers who were also stationed at some point. I said, okay, that means this place could have been terrorized, you know, by hoodlums, given the reasons why I'm seeing this uh, law enforcement agent. So when I moved further, you know, I made more progress into the scene of the event. I was accosted by, you know, an elderly man who supposedly looks like somebody responsible. Now telling me that, hey, hey, where are you guys going? Please, please hold on here. Hold on here. So I told my cameraman, okay, just hold on. Let me hear what he has to say. So this man was like, um, where are we coming from? We started introducing ourselves and all of that. Then he said, okay, we have to get permission. Permission from who? When I was already getting ready to interview, you know, one of the electorate who were already on ground, um, because I, from the look of things, she has been disenfranchised because she's not happy of the situation. Wanted to interview her. Then one other man came and was like, where are you people coming from? In fact, I don't want to see any camera. I said, we're not here for trouble. We're here for peace. Let's just know what's happening. You can even tell us the situation of this. He doesn't want to hear before you know it. He started threatening. Upon knowing what was happening, he was putting his hand in his pocket, bringing out charm mm -hmm. to hit me. At that point in time, I had to just tell my cameraman, let's just, you know, withdraw and leave this place because it's going to be well, very... Well, safety first. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, safety, uh, safety first. first. But while all of that was going on, yeah. um, you, s you said you were getting to that environment and you saw, um, you know, some... You know, military personnel around that area station yes. standing by yes. in case of any eventuality. But did they see what was going on? Um, did they, were they witness to it? At uh, least the police officers knew what was happening because they started making the whole thing look like a scene. Some other guys who maybe perhaps saw them from afar started coming closer and even, you know, mounting more threats. That if you guys don't leave here now, we're going to create a scene that you will not expect. So at that point in time, I just felt like, okay. Let's Even go. under their nose. Oh, yes. You know, oh, yes. And they didn't do anything. They were there. Like nothing. 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 Mm. nothing. Uh, quite unfortunate uh, that way. But I, I mean, good enough. Um, I mean, you're safe. and <laughs> You're oh, back yeah, to the sure. studio here sure. now. But sure. again, I mean, we talk about the uh, peaceful process or the nature of the conduct of the election all through yesterday, uh, except, uh, you know, some places where... Pockets you know, of violence. Violen yeah. I mean, violence were recorded. Mm. Uh, but if you look at, because the picture or the story you just told us now, it's direct opposite of, you know, what was recorded yesterday. So one wonders what, what could have prompted that. Um, were they, you know agitated because they were disenfranchised or is there the entire committee that was you know cut off from voting so why would they put up that kind of you know act or harsh or violent act towards a reporter a journalist for that matter who was supposed to even who was there to report a story and not to pose any threat to them you know this thing is just um, a situation that you know, you know, it's just like a follow-up situation from yesterday. Right. You know, given the results that were, you know, announced by, you know, INEC officials at different polling units as regards, you know, the numbers, 
you know, differentiating from each other when it comes to political parties. Mm. They felt they were at the losing end. So I, I, it's, only, it's only understandable why one or two or a group of individuals from different sections will want to begin to resort to violence, you know, given the situation mm. that if they don't do what they are supposed to do now, situation may get out of hand, you know. So that, for me, I feel that's the reason for their, you know, resorting to violence, even when there was no reason for doing that. Mm. I, I think it's a matter of orientation, really. Um, proper orientation and education will do that uh, because uh, I mean why would you you know resort to abusing uh, a, a journalist that just came to mm. you know tell a story it, it, uh, it speaks so it speaks it, to the it, fact it that the level of orientation the level of education and understanding about it it, 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 it speaks to the fact that these guys tread in darkness mm. they would not like anything that will be done under the light, transparent, and you know, fair enough for all parties. Because the uh, the understanding about life, especially when it comes to things of this nature, is whatever that it takes, right. you know, right. to win the day. Let us do it. Let, let's just you before know. I allow you go. Mm -hmm. um, apart from that particular, mm -hmm. you know, polling unit, yeah. did you also visit another polling unit? Was the same. Um, you know, uh, act recorded in, in that polling unit. Well, that was just the only unit I went to because I realized that yesterday we couldn't, you know, get access to that location. So mm. for me to be able to see things for myself, I had to go visit there personally. And when I saw things, I knew the reason why the election didn't hold there. 